How far do the goalkeepers run? In a previous video in the channel, he was talking about the importance of knowing the workload of the football player's individual positions. In the study, goalkeepers were not included. However, a guideline on the physical data of the goalkeeping position would be important to know how much physical activity they do during the game. So, how far do the goalkeepers run? The authors of this research provided an answer. 62 goalkeepers belonging to 28 teams in the English Premier League were monitored with time motion cameras in 109 matches in the season 2003-2004, 2004-2005 and 2005-2006. In order to analyze the physical data, the intensity speed were separate into six categories. Standing, walking, jogging, running, high speed running and sprinting. The results show that the average of the total distance covered by the goalkeepers during the matches was 5 km. In meters, 5611. There was no difference between the distance of the first and the second half. The average distance covered at the high intensity was 56 meters, while the distance covered sprinting was 11 meters. Also, the researcher looked into the number of actions performed and the number of sprints. The averages of distances covered at different velocity throughout the entire matches by the goalkeeper are shown in the figure on the left. The average number of high-speed action was 10, with a total range between 0 and 40, while the figure on the right shows the average number of sprint action. The average number of sprint action was 2, with a total range between 0 and 15. The highest number of sprint were between 0 and 5 meters. And finally, the figure shows the time that the goalkeeper spent at different thresholds throughout the matches. It was found that they walk 73% of the match, while spending just 2% moving at high intensity. To conclude, it was studied that the most of the goalkeeper's movement during a match is done at a walk or low intensity run. Although there are fewer high intensity actions, such as the sprint between 0 and 5 meters, which are the most common. The authors say that the sprints are recovered in a match by walking and jogging. However, coaches should pay attention more in training, which they might not have the same resting periods that they have in a match, so this could cause injuries. If you would like to know more about this topic, you can find related research in the description below. Also, if you feel that you found the video useful, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below about your favorite research. Thank you for watching and goodbye!